Bobby Floyd. I was reading up about you uh, in some bios and, and I understand that uh, you first started to have some uh, coming out with music uh, at a quite early age, about two. Is that right? Right, yes. I started, started playing when I was two. So, you know, I started off playing songs like Coonshine Baby and Chopsticks uh, and took it from there. And at the age of, I think I was four or five, a music teacher discovered that I had perfect pitch. And that's when they knew there was a gift there. And I kind of took it from there. I started in church. Actually, uh, my mother, she was the church mother. And she also played piano. Like I said, she wasn't real accomplished, but she played well enough to carry a church service. So that's where the gospel came from. And my dad was a big Earl Garner fan. He played Earl Garner day in and day out. Even at you know that real young age, I, I knew there there was a gift. Uh, so I, I pursued it. You know, I mean, along the way, I had you know other interests. I wanted to play football and basketball with my friends, but uh, I always ended up coming back to the piano. You played in a Ray Charles band when Ray Charles was still living. Right, uh-huh. So, obviously Ray Charles is in the Ray Charles band. Mm -hmm. So Ray Charles was playing piano much of the time, I suppose. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. And you were, what, playing organ? Yeah, uh-huh. Actually, um, the band would open up. It was a big band. Sure. Big, the band would open up the show. We would play two, three songs before they introduced Ray. So I would play the piano with the band, two, three songs. Then after those two, three songs, they would, ladies and gentlemen, the great Ray Charles. I'd get up off the piano and go over to the organ, which was sitting on, on the uh, opposite side of the bandstand, and he'd come out and play the piano. Right. So I would back him up on the organ while he played piano. I see. You're in the chair that Count Basie himself sat in. Right, and helped to right. define this whole big band swing thing. I, um, uh, and you know, I was ready to, to meet the challenge. I don't think I was quite as nervous as I was when I first started playing with Ray Charles. Probably, you know, because, well, you know, I'd been through playing with somebody, you know, very well known before. I, I mentioned Earl Garner yes. earlier. My, yes. my dad loved him, and I loved him too. It's just, it was just something about the way he, he played. Uh, he was like, almost like a Freddie Green on guitar but on piano with his left hand, yeah. playing that 4-4, four, four, comping chords, you know, and he had this feel that just, you know, it really you know, made you feel good. So I love that about Earl Garner. So he was probably my favorite pianist. I listened to everybody, not only jazz pianists and organists. You know, I listened to Earth, Wind and Fire, you know, the Spinners, you know, great music in the 70s, you yes. know, the big horn bands. Yes. Uh, singers, you know, and all that played a big role in the way I play now. Bobby, another question I wanted to ask you was, mm -hmm. exactly when did you debut with the Columbus Jazz Orchestra? You seem to bring the best out of them, and they and they tend to bring out inspired performances from you. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. it's a, it's a great group of musicians, um, and I I love playing with them. And actually, I started playing with them back in the. Shortly after my first album came out, like 86, 87, as just a guest artist. Uh, and I did that all the way through Hank, when Hank Marr passed away. And, and that's when that was in, uh, the early 2000s. And, and that's when 2005 I. Or 2005, 2005, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and at that point, I became uh, a member of the Jazz, the wow. well, Columbus Jazz Orchestra. What are, what are some of your recollections of the Lincoln? And uh, you've played here several times. Uh, I remember them all, but I don't know that much about the Lincoln before 
because I, I, I wasn't raised in you Columbus. Grew up, I, I grew up in Marion, Ohio, yeah. and moved here in the 70s. Now, I've heard a lot of great things about the Lincoln, and I've seen pictures and read uh, about, you know, some of the, you know, Gene Walker used to talk about the Lincoln. Oh, yeah, our, yeah. our friend. But yeah, it's great being here at the Lincoln. Um, and as a matter of fact, thank you, Lincoln and Susan Bradford and, and everybody else responsible for this prestigious honor. Thank you. I am so appreciative. Thank you.